Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name's Ethan Bernard, and in today's video, we're going to be comparing two weapons that are very near and dear to me because I was a lens user for such a long time, but a new contender in the explosive bow arena has arrived, and their name is the Kuva Brahma. The Kuva Brahma is a new grenier bow that delivers vengeance in the form of cluster bomb tipped arrows. So essentially, it's the lens, but it carries more ammo and it does more damage so it's almost a direct upgrade however in this video we're going to determine whether or not it's worth grinding for the Kuva Brahma if you already have a fully formed and modded out lens in your arsenal that being said for the purpose of testing we're going to be using a very standard damage slash crit slash elemental build that I use on almost all the primary weapons in this game that consists of serration, heavy caliber, heavy caliber for these bows because they are explosive and they don't require much precision. Split chamber and vigilante armaments for multi-shot point strike and vital sense for your base crit mods. And corrosive damage in the form of two 90 point mods, the infected clip and stormbringer. This is a pretty standard damage build. This is one of the builds that I used to use on the lens. And we're going to see what kind of damage we can get out of a full clip to a group of eight level 120 corrupted heavy gunners firing directly in the middle. Let's see what this thing can do. All right, there you go. There is your six shots. That's a whole clip. We can hop down here, grab some ammo, hop back up and see exactly how many shots we need to get through this whole group. There you go. So, all in all, it took about 10 rounds from the lens to take out the entire group. Now we're going to swap over to the Kuva Brahma with the same exact mod set equipped and see what this can do against the same exact enemies. Again, firing as fast as we can right into the center. <laughs> well, uh... As you can see, they're gone. And that was way, 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 way faster. Now, hear me out. I'm going to do everything I can to make a case for the lens here, folks. We're going to try out the same thing, except for we're going to remove Vigilante Armaments and replace it with Hunting Munitions, making sort of a damage slash bleed like hybrid build and see what this can do, because this was another build that I used to run on the lens fighting higher level enemies. Now you can see the, the slash procs are doing some work in comparison to what it was doing. We already see some of these enemies getting bled out, which is very, very nice to see. We'll continue, shoot another one in there, see if we can get this last guy out. And as you can see, with the bleed build, we were able to take out the entire group with only one clip. So that does have something to say for it. However, we're going to go back to the Kuva Brahma and do the exact same thing, take out Vigilante armaments and replace it with hunter munitions and see what kind of damage we're getting. All right Look at those bleed procs anyone hit by the initial explosion bleeds out like crazy And usually there's one guy left sitting there that didn't get hit by the initial thing as you can see There's really no contest here for DPS folks and there's no real contest here for overall effectiveness but I will Give the, everything I've got to give you guys a good case for the lens and make sure that you guys know that you don't need the Brahma as nice as it is to have. One major thing for me is the self-harm. If you shoot anywhere near yourself with the Brahma, you're dead, okay? The nice thing about the lens is that, that it has that kind of a that fail-safe, right? When it, you shoot it, it has that area of explosion that you usually have time to get out of. So even if you end up accidentally shooting near yourself, you do have time to get away from that. When you have the Brahma equipped, literally, as soon as you bring this thing out, you are gone. If it shoots anywhere near you, you're immediately dead. I don't think it matters what frame you're using if you're using all these damage mods right here. Now, that being said, 
Think about it this way, okay? You're going through missions and you want a weapon like Lens or Brahma just to clear enemies, where you're just shooting around, killing everything, yada yada yada. I honestly don't know if there's a very huge difference between these two weapons when you add a fire rate mod onto the lens to counteract all the craziness here, right? If we put vile acceleration, you can do speed trigger anything. We'll do speed trigger just so we don't lose any damage. If we put speed trigger on here and go at these guys again, it's not going to do much for it damage wise, but you can see you can shoot it much faster. And if you're using this as kind of a just run and clear type of weapon and you have a good ammo mutation mod equipped in the Exilus slot, which you, in this case you would need another formal for, I don't think that is going to be a huge difference in between that and the Brahma in terms of just going around shooting stuff. Maybe at the higher levels in the sorties or something like that, but as far as the star chart goes at least, Sure, the Brahma's faster, it does more damage, yada yada yada. I'm not saying you shouldn't get it. I definitely recommend it. It's my favorite primary in the game right now. All I'm saying is that if you mod the lens correctly, okay, you get a little you get a little attack speed on there. We'll even kick it up to the vile acceleration levels of things here. And you have a good ammo mutation mod. This thing is not too far off from the experience you're getting with the Bra Brahma even though it will run out of ammo quicker if you're not running through dead bodies and grabbing all those ammo boxes that will drop from all of these guys. Lens still does some damage, folks. All right, it may not be Kuva Brahma level, but it's still wiping through these guys. Slowly, but surely. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think of these two weapons down in the comments below. Obviously, Kuva Brahma is basically the superior weapon in pretty much every way except for arrow velocity which can be counteracted a little bit with terminal velocity here if we put that in the excellent slot you can see the arrows will get a little bit farther you're still going to need aim above your target most of the time especially at mid to long range but it definitely does make the ammo gun way more viable if you choose not to do some sort of ammo mutation mod on there Anyway, guys, what do you guys think of these weapons? Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of the builds? Do you have any builds for the ones that makes it compete with the Brahma? Let me know. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave it a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. It's free, and it helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Ain't nobody how y'all been? It's been a minute, but I'm in it to win, and I ain't finished. This is the starting gun, and I'ma run it to the front and tell them not the one, son. This is a rhythmic defibrillation, innovative old school to thrill the nation. I've been patiently waiting and building steam, but I'm back with the bounce like a trampoline.